How powerful is the USS John McCain destroyer? The USS John McCain DDG-56 is an Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer in the United States Navy. The power of a warship like the USS John McCain can be assessed based on various factors, including its capabilities, armament, technology, and overall mission profile. The USS John McCain is equipped with a wide array of advanced weaponry, including vertical launch systems capable of launching various missiles, such as Tomahawk cruise missiles, standard missile family for anti-air and anti-missile defense, and Ace Rock for anti-submarine warfare. It is also armed with various smaller caliber guns for close-in defense. Arleigh Burke-class destroyers are equipped with the Aegis Combat System, which is a sophisticated integrated naval weapon system. Aegis enables the ship to track and engage multiple airborne, surface, and subsurface threats simultaneously, making it a formidable asset for air defense and ballistic missile defense. The USS John McCain is equipped with advanced radar systems, sonar systems, and other sensors that enhance its situational awareness and ability to detect and track potential threats. Arleigh Burke-class destroyers are known for their versatility and can be deployed in various roles, including anti-air warfare, anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, and ballistic missile defense. The USS John McCain, like other Arleigh Burke-class destroyers, has a high top speed and excellent maneuverability, allowing it to respond quickly to changing operational requirements. It's important to note that the power and effectiveness of a warship like the USS John McCain depend on how it is utilized in specific situations and in combination with other assets. The U.S. Navy deploys its destroyers as part of carrier strike groups, amphibious ready groups, or independently for various missions worldwide. Keep in mind that there might have been updates or developments regarding the USS John McCain or its class of destroyers beyond my last knowledge update. For the most current information, it's best to refer to official U.S. Navy sources or recent news articles.